Welcome to The Trues. I'm Russell Brand, host of The Trues. We're going to try and give you a tip of the day, but not just a tip of the day out of nowhere, a tip of the day that's already based on a pre-existing Bill O'Reilly tip regarding his continuing endorsement of the potentially disastrous presidency of Donald Trump. Here's some trues. In fact, a tip of the day, the media despising Donald Trump. Despising! And here's why. He has no fear. He does have some fear because I once interviewed Donald Trump and it took him an hour to prepare that bizarre thing that he wears on his head. It, no fear, you just go, I'm ready to be in a few, bye. Instead of having to have an, an elaborate sort of constructed breakfast cereal domed up on the top of your bumps. He could not care less about censoring himself and the press does not intimidate him. So because of that approach, the media believe they must punish Mr. Trump for being disrespectful and not cowering before them. You know, like the 80s was the apex of this kind of thinking, of consumerism, of individualism. We all got into it. I took it on as a belief system via Del Boy and a few Elvis films that I saw lying around. And it didn't work, did it? It ruined everything. It destroyed the planet. And Bill O'Reilly and Trump are sort of trying to keep the 80s alive. This is 2015. That's like, that's the old days now. It's nearly half a century ago. We can't carry on like this. Press a very powerful force in America, given special privilege by the Founding Fathers. And you are the media. I mean, I suppose you could say that I'm the media also, and we're in some kind of vortex. But answer me this, Bill. Which one of us has a stick? It's me, isn't it? So who can you trust? Old Russ with a stick? Or Bill O'Reilly, part of the media, endorsing extremist media views? And if the press deems someone unworthy, they will try to destroy that person. What is interesting is that he takes on the manner and style of such righteous indignation that's typically backed, at least on some level, by come on, can't you see that it's wrong that that big supermarket's taking over that little farm or that that poor little old lady is being continually wronged by her landlord. But he's protecting Donald Trump, a billionaire who's a billionaire on the basis that he just inherited a load of money and sort of just fallen through life on a series of like beautiful convenient tax breaks like a sort of an avalanche of good fortune under a hair hat of Weetabix. That's where Donald Trump finds himself today. Fact or tip of the day. Unfortunately the American media, although there are exceptions, are not looking out for you. This is tantalizingly close to becoming like a like network. You know a network, the film about how a newscaster just goes, I've sat here day after day speaking this shit, telling these lies, and I've had enough of it. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore! You think for a moment, oh my god, Bill's on the precipice of telling the absolute truth, of saying, look, I'm part of the problem. I work for Vox News day after day. I've been representing corporate interests. I've been sticking up for Rupert Murdoch, Donald Trump, unseen figures whose names you'll never know because they're so ensconced in power, their power continually veiled. But I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. People of America, rise up, come together. We can create new communities, new organizations. We have the technology now to live in a leisure society where we worship nature, both in and out of nature, where we find God in one another, where we continue to love. But I have a feeling that in a minute he's going to say, so just be a bit nicer to Donald Trump. They have an agenda, these people. And they often use that agenda in corrupt ways. In corrupt ways. Oh no, you did it. You as a media consumer should walk away when you see that happen. Actually, Bill O'Reilly's tip of the day is true. The media is lying to you. The media is manipulative. But oddly... The person that's saying this to you is, well, I don't know. I guess he can't on any level be thinking I'm part of this problem. Perhaps I am the media that Bill O'Reilly's talking about. Perhaps I'm the problem that's bringing down Donald Trump, who's like some sort of latter-day Moses that's going to lead us across the sort of barren deserts of this corporate wasteland to some new utopian freedom. But if it is Donald Trump that's the new Moses, why have I got the stick? A stick that Moses might have. That's some true news. Subscribe here. To leave you scared and confused Trues is like the news If the news was true I want some trues Let's have some trues